Hey, KIC here. Welcome to a nice rainy arc afternoon. That would be a Carno right there. What are my chances of taming that guy? Probably not very good. It's just going to be thrashing things now, isn't it? Here, what level are you? Uh, you're pretty high level. Let's just go ahead and kill it. I didn't really come prepared to kill things because I would have been... No. I didn't come prepared to tame things because I would have been on... Anyone else? Anyone else? No one else? Good. I would have been on my scorpion if I did, but I didn't. So here we are. Ah, oh, look at you. You're a nice big dead thing, aren't you? That's kind of a shame. That was a pretty decent one, too. Level 18. That feels like a bit of a waste. Anyway, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. In the last episode, I was out and about in about, oh, I don't know, this area. I was out running around filling in my map because, well... There's a lot to this island I haven't explored. In fact, if we pull up the map itself right quick and I zoom into single player, you can see I haven't even really gone around that volcano yet where the red obelisk resides. So, you know, whatever. Slowly, slowly getting there. Probably spend the episode running around doing this. This is helpful to me because I know there are caves and other various things around. Never mind... It does help to kind of see some of the areas where some of those fly crates spawn. Since I am playing a single player game, that is kind of a big deal to me. It is handy to know where... Oh, what in the heck? Wow, well that is really inconvenient. Hmm. I just realized that Freya ate all of my cooked meat. They changed how things work such that... Dinosaurs have a different preference on food now. Cooked meat, I believe, would be her least desirable thing of the things she could eat. Since, you know, she likes it a little underdone. And I think she ate all of it. Well, that kind of stinks, because, oh, I don't know, I had 18, 20 units of cooked meat in there, something like that. It was quite a few. I was feeling pretty good, like, yeah, I have enough to do this for a while. Nope. So, that means I'm going to have to stop and collect. Oh, what do we have going on over here? Oh, more, more dilo action. I thought maybe there was a raptor. I might be able to take a raptor right now. I, I just, I'm not really feeling good about anything else. And even then, a raptor might be pushing it, because I only have, well, however many narco berries she has. Thirteen. I'm not really prepared to tame anything right now. I'm just kind of running into the forest here, kind of, again, filling in stuff a little bit. Just trying to get a, a feeling for where I'm at, more than anything else. This is new territory for me, so if you've already been here and you're thinking, uh, this is boring, sorry. I haven't, so it's interesting to me. Is that a scorpion? Nope. It's the little Dilo train. We'll just go ahead and let them run by. Oh, wait a minute. What? Aha! Ah, uh, level 2 raptor. Hmm. Well, that, um, yeah. Whatever. Level 2. I would prefer a, a slightly higher level 1, I think. Um, we'll go ahead and let her do the dirty work since it doesn't have any inventory on it. Yeah. I I knew it wouldn't get a whole lot of meat or hides from it, but that's okay. Probably should have made a compass. I have found several compass blueprints along the way. Haven't made one. Whatever. I thus far seem to be able to more or less follow a general direction, so... Eh. If I get lost, I get lost. Whatever. It's not the end of the world. I mean, at this point I know. Turn right. There you go. Go straight. And I'll eventually get back to where I need to. Oh, there's a Dilo coming in. Hi, how you doing? Just kind of taking a look at things right quick here. Maybe I should go check out a little more this way before I decide to swing back around. You know, might as well. I don't get out here all that often, and I'm sure once I get a Pteranodon, then I'll be able to do a little more exploration. Of course, that would help things out a little bit. Being able to fly, be able to cover the island that way. That should actually help a lot where blueprints are concerned. In fact, just for a moment, let's talk about that. Oh, look at that. I found the northern coast. I can get down there. 
Let's go ahead and do that. Maybe I can get down there? Well, here, while I'm trying to wind my way down, we'll have a bit of a discussion about blueprints. Hmm, easier said than done, apparently. Or I just need to go a little further on, but... My thought with blueprints, and I kind of talked about this a little bit in a previous episode, and I won't necessarily go too much into it, because... I'm still not entirely sure where I stand on the thought, but this game does... I'm not going to say it doesn't punish you for picking engrams, but you do have to be careful because you have a limited number of points available to you. Of course, you do have supply drops, and in supply drops you have a chance of finding blueprints. And those blueprints, of course, let you make items that you otherwise wouldn't be able to make because... It's effectively the same as having the engram. Now, the good thing about blueprints is they can come in a different level, different quality than what engrams can. Engrams are basically set. You get an engram and the end. You can make that item. Congratulations, it's at the lowest possible quality. Which, you know, when you're starting out, you'll take whatever. Who cares? You know, you just you need it to survive, so be it. Freya here is a little busy. I'm just going to go crazy on all these dilos here. Probably not a good idea. Too late. I've already started. I figure, you know, why not? I can use some additional experience. Besides, she can take dilos. They're not a big deal. Hey, turtle's mine. Hands off. Wow, there are a lot of dilos in here. Turtle's mine. Turtle's mine. You stop that. So I don't know where I want to go in terms of all of the engrams, because I'm going to have to skip some things. That's just the way it's going to be. Pray is a little tired here. I'm going to move her around a little bit. She's got some torpor going on. Obviously, I can't take all of them. I'm playing single player. You just don't get enough points. Hey, my turtle, hands off. Hands off my turtle, or fangs off my turtle. Don't necessarily want to try and find everything via blueprint. Oh man, it died. Well, whatever, let's start eating things. But it is certainly helpful to get blueprints for some things. I think my I, my plan at this point is to basically try and find blueprints for the big one-off things. So stuff like fabricators, forges, etc., etc. Those are kind of big things, and you don't really ever need to make them again. Or if you do, it doesn't matter about quality. It just is what it is. Are you a crocodile? Yes, you are. I don't think I'm going to have time to take you home with me. Aw, oh, you're stuck. Poor little guy. Here, let me help you out. Aw, oh, you're only a level 3, too. I know, I'm just walking in and attacking. I'm not even pretending to act like they're going to be a threat. I'm just standing in front of it and clicking. How's that for strategy? Here, you need some... You need to hold that stuff. But I kind of think I'd like to just collect the stuff that is a one-off thing in terms of blueprints. And everything else, if I'm really going to use it, then I might as well take the engram for it. Granted, I'll probably skip some things, but... I don't know, that just kind of seems like the way to go. Besides, theoretically, with the blueprints, I'll be able to find higher quality stuff. And I don't know, it just... It kind of depends. If I can find a, a blueprint for, say, the rifle, that might not be a bad thing. I mean, I could save the points on it, and I'm not necessarily planning on going to a higher level weapon. That might be sufficient. I don't know. It's just uh, it's an interesting it's an interesting idea. I think. Where do you go with? Of course, it does lead a little bit. I kind of talked about this into the question of crafting system in this game, and I won't go on to it too long, because I can probably talk endlessly about this stuff, but that is one area that feels a little incomplete to me, and I would say that Seven Days to Die has it better, but not perfect, and if you're not familiar with that game, basically the crafting system in that game, there's a quality that goes with every item. This game has that too, but the quality in this game is determined either by well, the same as Seven Days to Die, the quality of the item when you find it, or the quality of what you can craft. The difference to that, though, and here's where it really is different. In Seven Days, you can make higher quality items as you gain more levels. So you might start off... Aw, oh, man, leave the dodo alone. 
poor Dodo's gonna die. Hey, knock it off. Aw, oh, you killed the Dodo, jerk. Never mind, I've already killed Dodos in this episode, too. Minor details. So in that game, as you gain some levels, you are... You have a bit of a range you can craft, and basically your level... What is it? Your level, uh... Plus or minus 50-something along those lines. Times 10 plus 50. I don't know. Something like that. I don't, I don't remember. It's not... That's not exact. Maybe it's times 10. Your level times 10 plus or minus 50. So there's some variance. Just because your level, we'll say... 10, which is relatively low in that game, doesn't mean you're guaranteed to make a super crummy item, but it also doesn't mean you're going to make a great one. Just the same when you're really high level, it doesn't mean you're going to make a great one, but you're not going to make anything worse than a pretty darn good one. So I would argue it's a pretty effective system. Now there's room for improvement. Wow, I have not been over to this area and this is... I don't think I have. I, I really don't think I've been over here, and this is just incredible looking. Get that waterfall over there. Oh man, sometimes this game is gorgeous. I don't understand where people call it ugly or so-so. I don't think that at all. Hi, Raptor. Yeah, again, I'm not really equipped to tame you, so you're just going to have to settle for dying. Do you have anything on you? Nope. We'll let Freya take care of the dirty work then. But I don't know. The crafting system in that game could use a little bit of work. I think there's... What is going on over there? Is there a Spino? I don't know what's going on. Something is being attacked. Well, if only there were some way I could look in the distance. What is that? That would be a dead Stego. Ah, and a wild female Carno over there. Good. I might actually be able to take a level 3 Carno. Hmm, I wonder. She's a little far, though. And I don't really feel like running around with Trank arrows, so yeah, we'll pass. But I do think you could have some improvement in that game, some changes to how the quality system works, more or less how durability works. I think you should be able to... I don't know, I'm... I guess some of those thoughts are incomplete, but the system on a whole is better than what's in this game, I would argue, because in this game, as I said, once you get an engram, that's what you're limited to. Just the end. Which, I don't know, I mean, you're going to get stuff that's useful, but you're never going to make it any more useful unless you find a blueprint for it, which doesn't feel like the right way to go about it. You shouldn't have to rely on finding stuff. If you want higher quality, I think you should be able to, over time, learn how to make higher quality stuff. That really resonates with me. And, you know, who knows? At some point, maybe they'll add that to the game. The devs have done so much already. This game... What is this? Version 183-something? I don't even know. Has changed so much already. Hi, Carno. You're level 22. Oh, that's a shame. You're a pretty good high-level Carno. Bad, you're gonna die in a second. Ah, good, that got me a level. I need a bunch of those. Who knows where they're gonna go with the crafting system, though? That's the whole point of this. You don't have anything on you. I'm not going to worry about skinning you with my hatchet. We'll just let Freya take care of that again. Look at that, got some prime meat. How many? One, huh? Yeah, that's not really enough to do anything with. It's alright, though. I did see a blue supply crate over here. Thought I should go check that out. Maybe I can find something helpful in there. You never know. Ah, it's coming down right now. This game is still in development. I can only assume it will look way different. Ooh, that would be a T-Rex over there, I think. I don't know that I want to get into that fight right now. Here, let's swing wide a little bit. Ah, all right. Now let's swing wide a little bit. I'd prefer to let the Rex go and attack something else. As I said before, Freya doesn't have the most health, so a little concerned about getting her into a Rex fight. 
There's a raptor over there. Here it comes. Say hi, raptor. Where are you? Level 10. Yeah, you didn't last very long. A little disappointed that these guys don't have anything on them. Seems like it's been a while now since I found something that actually... A dinosaur, that is, that has any sort of inventory on it. Nice and cold over here. Kind of lost sight of the Rex. I don't know, did it turn back around? That's inconvenient for me, if so. It's not chewing on that turtle, I know that much. Hi, turtle. That is the one kind of bad thing right now. I'm in a bit of uncharted territory. Here comes another Carno. Hi. Uh, you're a weak one. You only take another couple hits, and you're now dead. So I don't really know where to go should uh, something big and nasty that I need to... Hey, look at that. You have stuff on you that I need to run away from should that decide to show up. Go ahead and take all those things. I don't want to take too much because I don't want to overload Freya here. I need to be able to maintain speed. I am kind of liking this area, though, for hunting. This is not working out badly at all. Let's go ahead and chow down on some of this stuff here. Okay, that should be good for now. I was trying to find, and I have already lost it, because I got turned around when I decided to attack that Carno. There we go. I was going to say, I'm trying to find that supply crate. And apparently I am easily, oh, I don't know, swayed from my current task. Is that a polite way of saying I'm... Wow. Sorry, I'm cutting off my own speech there as I'm realizing I can't get to that from here. Because there's a big river in the way. That's a lot higher up than I thought it was. That's up on the mountain, I think. I think I've actually been here before. Maybe? Possibly. I don't know if I have. Here, let me go to the other side of this rock right here. If I have, it would have been when I was playing in the very early days. The first, literally the first day. Possibly when I had my early access key before things were open. I don't remember. But this sure looks familiar. I'd be willing to bet there's a bit of a path that leads down somewhere over there. I mean, I didn't really look all that closely because I was trying to avoid T-Rex, but I don't know. Maybe I'm not where I think I am, but this just does seem a little familiar to me, that's all. But just the same, I do think I need to call it an episode. It's starting to get to that point, and it's a little dark, and maybe I'll uh, wait a little while before starting the next one because... Yeah, I'm going to be out here still. I mean, I haven't made it back home yet, right? That's going to be the question. Will I make it home alive? Or will I die? Will Freya die? I hope for neither of those things. Obviously, I hope for neither of those things. But there are various not particularly friendly things out here. So, with any luck, I'll continue to kill those that attack me and avoid those that I'm worried I might not be able to take care of. But for right now, it's from calling in an episode overlooking this river at about 1 a.m. park time, so that's a local thing. So I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you later.